everyone, it's Hit Ross here from Football DNA, and today we're going to be looking at five side formations, and we're going to be looking at the 1 2 2 today, or what I like to call the box formation. So, we're going to explore the benefits of the box formation, both in and out of possession, and how you can use it to support your players. I think the main thing to, for you to understand is that the box formation is a really simple formation, for, particularly for young players that are transitioning into mini soccer to understand. A box is a simple shape which helps them understand around the four different corners that they can play within. When your team's got possession, it will be really easy for them to understand about making the pitch as big as possible. And you can talk about finding themselves a corner on the pitch. The benefits of doing that, obviously, it creates them lots of space to receive and you'll have that space across the width of the pitch, but also have that depth too. By making the box as big as possible, it will also give you opportunities to fight for players to move into the spaces to try and receive inside the box as well. So it may be that your left forward drops inside the box to create that space to receive. And as you can see, what that will do is it will introduce a diamond and the benefits of the diamond having a player at the supporting but also the player at the top of the diamond. Your goalkeeper is really integral in terms of your in possession in the box. If you're playing against a team which is going man for man, your goalkeeper will act as a, the overload. So when they're building from the back, your teams lock on, there may be opportunities for your goalkeeper to dribble through and support. Likewise, if you're playing against a team that's playing a 2-2 that are really compact. It made the balls played out one side and as they're pressing, your goalkeeper can come out and support and look to get on the ball as well. In terms of your out possession when you're playing against your opposition, the box is a really good formation in terms of introducing basic ways of defending. So you can start introducing both pressing and supporting. How does this player press the ball and how can their teammate support? And likewise, that will then talk about your next unit, whether it be your forwards or your defenders, how they then work from that. Likewise, it can be used brilliantly to go man for man, and it will really encourage your players to win their 1v1 duels, which is obviously a fantastic thing for young players to start developing knowledge of how to do that both in and out of possession. The benefits of locking on is it will make it really difficult for the opposition team to try and get on the ball, but it's really simple for these players to understand, okay, my role is to make sure I stay with this player and I've got to try and win the ball off them and then look to find ways of getting past them as well. And just again, if you decide to mark space by being compact and you're playing against the opposition team, it will really tell us the team to right, try and force the play out wide but no, let nothing through. So you can talk about your front plays being the front door. And the closer they get, the more the front door shuts, which will make it more difficult for them to get through and forcing it wide. And obviously once the ball's gone out wide, that might be where your team can then look to win it in those areas where there's less danger of the opposition to score. So to conclude, the box formation is a really simple formation. It's easy for the, your players to understand because of the simple shape, it will help your team make the pitch as big as it can. You'll be able to introduce simple rotations, whether it's players moving into the box or players rotating with one another. And likewise, if you're out of possession, you can talk about being compact and not letting anything through the front door or going man for man and making sure your teammates and your players win their 1v1s.